Hello, everybody. Let me straighten myself out here. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Hopefully that is better. Um, so great to see everybody today. Wish I could really see you. It would be great. Um, we have a really, uh, really awesome reset plan for you today. Um, you know, at Equilibrium here, we talk about holistic health all the time, meaning, you know, our, our mental health, our physical health, and everything in between, um, and how that's all connected. And um, today we're going to have um, Angela McCouston, who is, she runs Music Strong, which is a like physical, fit, like personal training for musicians. Um, incredible, incredible woman, incredible company she has in Nashville. And um, she is gonna help us through some neck pain, whether we have it or whether we're trying to prevent it. Um, and thought this would be great because we're all kind of dealing with this right now. We're all sitting at our desks or even like our musicians. She works with a lot of musicians who um, need the, you know, kind of need the physical therapy and the, and the fitness training for what they do. Um, but this is something I think we can all benefit from. So we're going to bring her in here and talk about that in a second. Um, but we're really excited to have this kind of embodiment of, um, of physical health on our reset today. Let's see if in here. Let's see. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm so glad to have you here today for so many reasons. Yeah, I'm really delighted to be here. I, this is, I've been looking forward to this for a while. And, the, and uh, neck stuff is something that people deal with a lot. And musicians in general have a lot of neck issues. So I thought, what better way to do this? We're all on our computers all day anyway. A hundred percent. Yeah. And you work yeah. with, I mean, I can imagine that with, with, with artists, with musicians, there's a lot of like repetitive injuries. Is that like, rep like tell me a little bit about that, about working with Yeah. Them. Yeah. By the way, is this dark? Can y'all see me? It looks dark on my end for some reason. It looks pretty good to me. Okay. But we can see you. Yeah. You okay. are backlit. So maybe, but I, so am I. So maybe we're just both. That'd be worse. Okay. That's, so, that's worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It looks fine when I checked it earlier. So who knows? Um, it looks really good. Weird. Okay, cool. Nicole's so yeah, I do work. Um, thanks. I, yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Nicole. So yeah, I do work with a lot of musicians and um, I forgot what your question was. <laughs> but oh. <laughs> musicians are who I deal with mostly. Yeah. No, just asking about like kind of what I imagine would be like repetitive motion injuries where you're doing the same thing all the time, whether it's yeah, guitar so, or... Right. So what the, a little bit of the, the backstory of why I do what I do is because I've been injured so many times because I play an instrument and it all has to do with those repetitive motions. It's overuse injuries and doctors basically just told me to quit playing, which I thought was a pathetic, lazy cop out. And I said, no, I'm tired of that being what they just you should just quit playing. Well, you know what? Your job causes you pain. Why don't you quit being a doctor? It's right. Not exactly. That's a ridiculous <laughs> answer. It's so dumb. So we think a lot about um, overuse injuries. We think about pain, right? And we, we think stretching, we think rest, we think mobilization, but strength gets left out of that a lot of times. So if we only, um, if we don't strengthen what's weak and we only stretch what's tight, we're missing the other half of the equation and the, the problem just perpetuates. Right. So that's what I'm going to show you guys today is a is a, a bit of a neck routine that you can do. It's a, a corrective exercise routine that you can do with just your fingers and your body weight. You don't need anything else. And you can do this anywhere, anytime. Um, there is, I'm gonna show you one thing that you can do uh, that is a little better if you lay down, but you don't have to. Amazing. Well, I'm yeah. excited. As I told you earlier, I'm definitely feeling some neck strain, I think just because of, you know, on the computer. So I can't be the only one out there. <laughs> Guaranteed. If there's one thing I see most of the time, it's a forward head posture, which is this business for people, yes. you know, the turtleneck kind of thing. I yes. see that a lot. Yes. So, and no matter, I think a lot of us are, you know, working at our desks in on, 
uh, what's my, what's the word I'm looking for? Not perfect uh, conditions, <laughs> <laughs> awkward like, chairs, less than, less than ideal. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Sure, sure. So this will be great. I think Nicole said she definitely, her neck t needs a little TLC and I can relate. So excited. Yeah. Yeah. I feel you. I mean, I, I see a lot of people, like I mentioned with forward head posture, but um, it can also translate into things like thoracic outlet syndrome, which is what I'm dealing with right here. I mean, and then you get numbness and tingling and, you know, all kinds of things. And then, you know, it can translate up in the jaw. We get jaw pain and we get, you know, all kinds of things. Yeah. Headache. Um, if you've ever had whiplash, uh, caveat, if you've ever had whiplash, man, I've had whiplash at least twice, maybe three times. Wow. I forget the point. Yeah. Uh, it happens when you drive a lot with bad drivers around you. Oh, <laughs> so, <laughs> one was my fault. The second was not my fault. Uh, you know how it is. Anyway, so just a caveat, um, I'm going to show you all of these. Some of the stretches may not feel amazing. If, they, if any of them don't feel good or they don't feel right, just don't do them. And I know that sounds like the cop out I just said, but I mean, not all of these are appropriate for everybody. Everybody's neck right. is different. Everybody guards, you guard emotionally here too. This is yeah. a very sensitive area. So if things feel very like scary or not quite right, it's okay to either back off, do it, do less. None of all of these are really gentle or just don't do them at all. Some of them are not appropriate for some people, especially if that's like ligament damage back here. We'll get into it. Okay. That's good to know. All right. So what, if something doesn't feel good or if it doesn't feel quite right, just skip it or modify. So back off okay. a little bit. We got, we got that. Okay, cool. Yep. Awesome. All right. I know you're going to probably move around. I'm going to stay seated and I'm just going to follow you and do whatever you say. Mm -hmm. And we'll all follow you. Great. Okay. So the, the three parts of the corrective exercise continuum are that we need to release we need to stretch, and then we need to activate. And well, the fourth part is integrate, but um, we don't have, in our limited time, I'm gonna show you stuff that you can do right here. So the first thing we need to talk about is neck anatomy. And the, the two areas that we are going to deal with um, are your SCM, which is sternocleidomastoid, turns your head from left to right. So if you put your fingers on your collarbone, you'll find that point right here, goes up behind your ear, turns your head, also flexes you forward. So we're going to talk about that, and we're also going to deal with your upper trapezius. It forms a trapezoid. It's your shrug muscle. Hmm. Mm. Sounds familiar, right? <laughs> yeah. Sounds like yeah. what I look like all day long. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the first thing we're going to do, SEM is easier to deal with, and levators also go up here. Um, without, if you have a lacrosse ball or something, those are easier to get at. But this is what you can do with your fingers. Something also to remember is that the site of pain is not necessarily the source of pain. So if you are having issues in one area, like especially people get pain in their levators back here behind the shoulder blades, a lot of times those muscles are stretched and weak and they are mad. They're the ones crying out. The tight ones very seldom actually cause the pain. So don't be surprised mm. if you press on something and you didn't know it hurt. <laughs> So, That's interesting. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It all has to do with muscle imbalances, right? And that's what we're going to deal with. So left to right, your SEM, like I mentioned, turns your head left to right, flexes you forward. What I want you to do, you have two ways to do this. You can, you can be gentle and you can like pinch it between your fingers. And I don't mean grab, okay? Like <laughs> a little bit, be super okay. gentle. Here. If that freaks you <laughs> out, you can, you can approach it. So if you're looking in the mirror, you're looking at your IG, you're going to find it. You're going to grab, I like to do this way as opposed to this way. Okay. Okay. You're going to grab it from low to high. Okay. Oh, right there. Ooh. Uh, and if you press oh, on man. it and you grab that. Yeah. You're looking for a trigger point. Is that, that's this muscle right here. Yeah. Ooh. Don't be surprised if you press on it and you feel pain right here in your sinuses. Oh, wow. Where do you start? <laughs> right? How low oh. down do you start? Yeah. You can start down here at the bottom and you can just okay. press. Press gently. Make sure you're not doing this to look at the camera. That'll right. excuse me. Okay. And you're going to press, press, work your way all the way up. Generally, those spots are going to be here or here. They're not generally way at either end. Okay. On this yeah, one. this is, this is really like. Nice. Sometimes, if you have access to lying down, sometimes these are easier done lying down because you're not using these muscles to hold your head upright. Okay. Right. So if you don't find anything, it's say again. I'll just put my head, my, I'll kind of lay my head into my hand yeah. here. <laughs> oh, let it go slack right there. Oh, I got a spot right there. I want you to hold that spot. If you don't find another spot, find a spot, I want you to go to the other side. So 
Oh, right there. So I'm feeling something right here that's rolling, okay? And what you can do, I know this looks gross. No. <laughs> you can gently push it between your two fingers and kind of mash back and forth. Or if you're doing it this way, see if you can get, the, the trigger point is going to roll a little bit. Okay, you want to press right in the middle and you're not trying to, this not anything hard. Be right. <laughs> gentle, right? So we're going to press in between. I'm going to hold that trigger point. Oh, yeah, right up in my temple. And, oh, yeah, we call that oh, referring. Oh, yeah, I just felt. In my this way? That... Mm -hmm. I was going to ask you if that's what people say when they, when they say referred pain. Is that what that means? Mm -hmm. So if you press on an area and you feel pain in another area, that's referred pain. That also means that's indicative of you're pressing right in the middle of a trigger point, which is a good sign. That means you're right in the right spot. So you're right. going to hold it until that pain goes down um, to something manageable. Generally, you don't want to press on anything that's more of like a, on a one to 10 pain scale, you want it to be less than a seven. Right. Okay. okay. So if this hurts an awful lot, back off. Hold it until it goes down to a one or a two. If this is chronic, it might not go down to one or two. Uh, might take up to a minute. That's all right. So yeah, that's already less. Make sure you're breathing through this. Even the bow. <laughs> not, not, okay. And try the other side, see what you got. Especially if you play an asymmetrical instrument, I heard a, we got a violist or anything. You're probably gonna have, um, one side might be weak, the other side might be tight. They might be, flute players tend to do this. So we've got differences on both ends oh, of wow. the all kinds of mess, yeah. So, oh, right there, and I feel that. It refers into this, this sinus spot here. Okay, so this is SCM massage. We're releasing those trigger points. Now let's Amazing. stretch it. Right, so I want you to find the side that was worse. For me, the right side was worse. I'm gonna put my right hand below in the, the small of my low back, or if you're sitting on a chair, you can grab the chair, pull your shoulder blade, pull your shoulder down towards the floor, and then I want you to look, you're gonna bring your left ear, then my right side, you're gonna bring your left ear towards your left shoulder, and then look up slightly, you'll feel a pull right through here. And that's where you're gonna go. If you want a little bit more of a stretch, you can push back right above your eyebrow. If it's too much, back off. Okay. I'm pushing that's back, exactly. like back, yeah. or like, okay. Yeah, and you'll notice my head goes way farther. It's not that you're not supposed to have this much range of motion. I have less on my other side as far as I go. <laughs> Is that because of so many years of flute playing? Wow. Flute playing before accidents, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not I'm kidding. Not yeah. playing flute in the car. No, not at the same time. Definitely not <laughs> at the same time. Don't recommend it. All right, so you're going to hold that for 30 seconds. Okay, now we're going to switch. Push down, look up, pull back. You should put that right there, okay? You're gonna pull down. You don't have to push, but if you'd like, you can. And if it feels like really good to make it a little bit more of an intense stretch, you can gently, as you're pulling down and pushing back, you can gently, like five, 10% of what you can do, push your head against your fingers, three, two, one, relax. It should go a little bit farther. If you feel any kind of tinglies, back off. That's, a, that's no, no good. So if it also doesn't feel good, you need to stop. And hold is that. it normal to feel that here as well, like down the bicep? Uh, it, or? Could be. It, it could, but I would, um, I would not pull your shoulder down so hard. Then. Okay. I'm grabbing oh. onto the bottom of my chair, so maybe that's – I see. Okay. Now I'm on the top, so that feels more necky. Okay. Yeah. 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 So 30 seconds. That's done. Next spot, we're going to get is the upper traps. This is where, you know, the Dr. Spock death grip people make fun of, <laughs> like right in here. Someone comes up, you ah, yeah. yeah. So you have a few trigger points. If you find your shrug muscles, they they go, they actually insert up here on your neck, and they they insert way over here. But what we're gonna look for right here, oh, right there. You you know where it is. You know where these trigger points are. Where your friend comes and does this, or you sleep wrong, yeah, or it's just super tense. Yeah, you know where those spots are. So I want you to find one of them. Okay, okay. generally, so mine are here. I'm going to press right in the middle of it. You can feel it roll. If you press and it rolls, nothing yeah. there is supposed to roll. Got it. Okay. The muscle feels like a little ridge. Is that okay? Is that mm -hmm. what we're looking for? Okay. Yeah. And then you're going to try to push into it. Generally, I would tell you not to do this with your fingers, especially, you know, for musicians sake, but this is without any equipment. So this is one of the harder areas. If you don't have a theracane or a, or a ball that you can mash into, it's just difficult to get to you by yourself. So I'm just going to show you how you can like, get to it. So I've got one right here. I'm going to press to the side of it. 
Right? Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> it goes right at the back of my neck. When you say the side of it, are you? Pro- I'm going to take this off because I. What, yeah, when it's you say this, I promise I'm wearing clothes underneath this. Um, <laughs> just awkward. When you say the side, you mean you're pushing into the because so, I'm feeling the muscle like that. The side of the trigger point. So if okay. you see mine, mine is right here. Right. Okay. And so that trigger point for me is right there. That's probably the worst one. So, hey, Austin. So you're going to press right here. And I'm pressing into the side of it, but you're trying to get into the middle, middle of that trigger point, right? Just okay. press nice and easy. And if you want to stretch at the same time, you can pull down and then bring your ear towards your other shoulder. So you're trying to create space here. If that feels like too much, just do them one at a time. Okay. It hurts so good. Totally <laughs> agree with you. Yes. Yeah. All right. And take some deep breaths through that. Okay. And then the other one, same thing. Oof. Yeah. That one. I saw so we're locating the muscle. Yeah. I feel like. Did you, you, you ever feel like you just did. forgot how to sleep? Yeah, you know, it happens. It's a thing, right? It is. It is a thing. <laughs> What's funny is when people tell you, oh, you shouldn't sleep that way. Like, you have a choice. <laughs> right. Like, I'm sorry, I was sleeping. I was not conscious. You should sleep on your back. Like, I have a choice, you know. <laughs> right. Seems you think about it too much when you're sleeping. Right yeah. There. Yep. I'm going to go sideways. So, the stretch, if you want to separate them, I like to do them at the same time, just because I feel like it... It, it, it gets at things a little bit better, but not everybody likes that. So, the other again, again, you put your hand behind your back. You're going to bring your head toward your ear. You're basically, you're separating space here. You're making space here. So you're trying to bring your ear towards your shoulder. You might angle down slightly if that feels better. Um, If you look more down that way towards your opposite foot, you're going to get on the backside. That's not where we're going. Mm -hmm. We're going to get on the side. Mm -hmm. You get up, you get SCM to the side. We get right there. Okay. Got it. Yeah. And we're going to hold 20, 30 seconds. Again, you're not holding... um, is it normal to only have trigger point pain on one side? It's not abnormal. Definitely not abnormal, especially depending on the instrument you play. So yeah, 30 seconds and then relax. Okay, so now we have released and stretched. So now I'm gonna show you a couple of exercises that you can do to strengthen these muscles. So if you think about forward head posture, it looks like this. Mm-hmm. Where do we need to be? We need to be here, ears right. over the shoulders, right? So. We're going to do something called the chin tuck. And I've sure, I'm sure you've seen this. Uh, I've got one other variation that we're going to try as well. So I want you to like use your fingers on your chin. You're going to tuck down slightly. And I want you to think that your, your jawline here is on rails, just like a, um, just like a train. You're going to go straight back. And this doesn't have to be a big motion like I just did. You can make this real small. Tuck and back. Relax. Tuck and back. And you should feel a nice stretch up through yeah. here. Yeah. This While is also what I do with my nephew on FaceTime. We try to do the most the most double chins possible. Oh yeah, good, good. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like. It, it's not an attractive face, but it means you're doing it right. <laughs> so I think you can see me here. All right. So if you're gonna do them lying down, tuck, and then press gently back, and hold for a few seconds and relax. And if you're feeling like everything is really tight. You're pressing too hard, okay? So tuck, push back. All right, so if this feels good, um, and again, if you don't have too much ligament damage or you don't get any pain anywhere, you shouldn't have any pain. What you need to do is you're going to tuck, push back, and then I want you to lift straight up. Notice I only went like an inch and relax. Oof, mm. a lot harder than it looks. I'm not sure how you can do that. You can't do that sit, uh, standing, seated, because we're going against gravity. Right, and yeah. It is it, it strengthens the muscle on the inside of your neck called longus coli. So it's gonna tuck, press back, lift up as one unit. So I'm not lifting up this way, I'm not lifting up this way, I'm going straight up, okay? And if you need, if you find that you have trigger points in those SCM but only on one side or you're an asymmetrical instrument, what you can do, tuck, lift, side, side back down it's a lot harder than it looks that does look pretty hard they're really hard (laughs) but take those caveat take those with a grain of salt because not they're not appropriate for everybody if any of these cause pain uh either back off or don't do them at all because 
Like I said, if you've got any kind of history of injury, um, they're pretty personalized. And I've seen people with all kinds of, of situations that some, some people just love them. Other people have the same situation. They don't like them at all. Mm. So, yeah. And how um, many, how many th- is there like a number of times that you should do the back and front turn when you're lying down? Or is it just until it feels tired? So, if you're, so the, the pressing, you're going to hold 30 seconds. The stretch is oh, okay. 30 seconds. The, and just one set is fine. So you're doing all of this in one go. And then the chin tucks, you can do a set of like three to 10, just kind of depending on how you feel. And then after that, um, it it basically is like how you feel. If you feel like anything is too tight um, or it's, it's causing pain or it's really, the first time I tried that chin tuck and lift, it was Mm -hmm. very difficult. Like I could barely hold my head up. It, yeah, mm. because whiplash will weaken that muscle because your head comes forward and then it goes back and that muscle effectively kind of shuts off. I know. Wow. So, yeah. yeah. So, um, right. Oh, so Mackenzie's asking about flute on the left side. So if you turn your head to the left and if you, t- as a flute player, I get this. So uh, we play like this, turn your head. Everything here is tight and compressed, but then we go this way. So we get tight and compressed and then we get shortened at the same time, or we get lengthened. So this is tight. This is tight. This is, it's, it's all a big kind of a mess. So it's not, <laughs> it's one of those weird ones. I'm going to have to go. My client is here. So um, I said, I'd let him in and he just knocked. So um, you guys have any right. questions, let me know. Thank you so much for your time today. And yeah, this will be on IGTV live and uh, you guys can drop questions in the comments and follow Angela at, at music strong fitness on Instagram. All right. Thank you guys. It was nice. Thank to you, see you so much. Bye-bye. Thank Bye. you.